Microsoft confirms Windows 10 X is coming to laptops amid big jump in Windows usage. Yeah, so Microsoft announced Windows 10 last year uh, as they were previewing some of their new devices, right? And I, I keep mixing up the uh, Surface Duo and the Surface Neo. The Neo is the one in the picture on the article okay. here that has the the... Uh, keyboard that kind of snaps onto the screen. So the Duo is running a Microsoft version of Android, and then the Neo is running this new Windows 10 X. No, let's stick with 1010. So it's running Windows 1010. <laughs> and, and, and so it was designed to focus on improving the user interface to work better on multi-screen devices. Well, we kind of got some previews of those devices. There were several people on Microsoft's campus carrying them around. People even felt like they might come out early, that we might see them as soon as August, but they were announced for December. Microsoft has since announced that no dual screen devices are going to come out in 2020, so it's now a 2021 thing. But while they're holding up the hardware, they're not holding up the software. They actually have noticed a 75% increase in people using their Windows computers during the uh, the pandemic. And so what they're saying is more people are using Windows than what, than ever. And so they want to get people uh, you know, with this new interface. And so instead of holding Windows 10 for the dual screen devices, they're going to go ahead and release it early. And that means that it's going to be here in 2020 that we're going to see this new operating system drop. All right, so what's, what's new in 10X that... Because obviously it was designed based around the assumption of, of multiple screens. But if if you're just t putting it on a laptop, are we going to notice much difference between? So this is the tricky part. Microsoft has been really tight-lipped on it. And so the only thing we really know is it has a more efficient user interface. The user interface is a lot more simple and designed to help you get to your applications quicker. So uh, it, it's like the South Park quote, right? It's supposed to be faster with better connectivity to the Internet. Um, They're keeping it quiet that it's self-aware. <laughs> or, or that you have to get one of those like brain plugs out of the matrix. Yeah. Yeah. It intuitive. made itself and hasn't told us yet. <laughs> Uh, so we don't know. Now, the other thing I find interesting is when Windows 10 launched, Microsoft said, that's it. We're going to go to a rolling release on this thing. And so, you, you know, instead of releasing a new version of Windows every three to five years, they're just going to do Windows 10. And it's going to get a major update every six months. And they've pretty much held that with the various crazy six-month updates. So some people felt like we might just have Windows 10 the rest of our lives. Windows 10X, that might actually be the next step. This might be the equivalent of Windows 11. We'll, we'll have to see. Enjoyed that segment? Check out the full playlist of all of the Technado with Don Bazette episodes right there. Make sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel for all of our videos. And tune in every Thursday morning for new episodes of Technado with Don Bazette.